Okay, so you just upgraded to Lightroom 4, and you have some other catalogs that you want to upgrade. Well, there's two possibilities. Either one, you could have a catalog from an earlier version of Lightroom, and you want to upgrade that so you can work in Lightroom 4 and take advantage of all the features. Or the second option is maybe you were working in the Lightroom 4 beta, and now you've bought the shipping version of Lightroom, and you're ready to upgrade your catalog. Because if you remember, in the public beta, it wouldn't let you upgrade previous catalogs. And that was for good reason, because it was beta software, there were still bugs in there, and Adobe didn't want you to lose any of your data or damage any of your photographs. But now that it's all tested and everything's shipping, it's time to upgrade. So let's look at two different options. One of the ways we can do it is if we want to merge your catalog, say you were working with the beta and you've got some photographs that you were working with and now you want to merge them into your main Lightroom library, well this is how you would do it. Just hold down the option key and go under the import, let me just select here, and you'll notice it changes to import catalog. So now we click here and we grab our earlier version, this is actually from a Lightroom 4 beta catalog right here, and I click open. Okay, and it tells me, hey, this needs to be upgraded before it can be imported, of course. So we have two options. One, we can save the updated, updated catalog, and then this is what it will do here. It will save a copy of it, and then you'll have uh, the upgraded catalog right beside the catalog you're working with. But really, we just need to merge it. So we could discard the upgraded catalog after import. So that means it'll upgrade it, merge it, and then get rid of it and save you some space on your hard drive. So... It's really your choice which way you want to do it. If you're a little paranoid, maybe do this and then delete it manually. And you can see it there. Or you could change the location of it. Or to just let it upgrade. Now I'm just going to hit the cancel button because we, we don't need to merge that right now. The other option is, what if you just want to start fresh? If you want to start fresh and have that catalog by itself, we can go like this. We just go File, and then we choose open catalog and then we go to our catalog there and then we click open and now what it wants to do it wants to relaunch Lightroom so it can open it and build a new catalog well let's do that because there's not too many images in that catalog so we'll let it do it and it tells us now that we need to upgrade the catalog absolutely we can put the location there what we want to call it or we could choose a different one but let's just hit upgrade and right now it's upgrading the catalog, it's relaunching Lightroom, and you can see that it even reset the our identity plate and everything like that. And here we go. Here's our catalog. We're now loaded up. It's rebuilding all the previews and everything like that. Notice it's connecting the files. And if there's any missing files, it's going to show you. Looks like there's a missing file there. We would probably have to reconnect that or just uh, delete it from there. And that's basically all that's needed to upgrade or merge a new catalog and uh, get right up to speed on the latest version. Now, one of the things you want to watch for is if you are um, doing this as the process version has changed. Now, if we go under the develop module and we scroll down here and we go under camera calibration, you'll notice that there's a new process version. Right now, this is processed in 23, and notice that there's a little um, warning there, because we can upgrade it, because what happened is the process version has changed, and we can go here now, and we can upgrade to the latest process version. Now, if we do this, the appearance could change on some of the photographs. So one of the things you may want to do before you click here, if you're a little bit paranoid, is create a virtual copy. And a way to do that Let's just hit the control and then hit the little apostrophe that's by the quotation mark on the keyboard and now we create a virtual copy and now we can click this button here or go here and upgrade to 2012 and notice it did change slightly but now we can view it there's our 23 and there's our 2012 version so now you can compare the versions and if you like the um, the 2012 then just convert it over and if you don't like it, then you can stay with the old processing version because, you know, sometimes your presets and things like that might not work. So anyway, that's uh, 
all you need to know really to get upgraded and then get working in Lightroom 4.